Hey guys, what's up? Alex here. Have you guys ever wondered these huge island like ships, how do they maintain its stability out at seas? So basically, there are a few concepts behind stability which I'm going to show in this video, and I'm also going to demonstrate it using this simple pen. So stick around till the end. So to understand how ship maintains its stability, you need to understand two basic terms. The first is center of gravity and the second is buoyant force. Now what exactly is center of gravity? Center of gravity is nothing but an imaginary point on an object or a body where its entire weight is acted upon. For example, take this pen. Now if I were to balance this pen on my index finger, there will be a point where it balance out, right? So this point. So this point right here is the center of gravity of this pen. So everything in this world has a center of gravity, be it humans or be it any object. Uh, another great example of center of gravity would be this. Once again, to define center of gravity, it is the point where the entire weight of the body acts upon. The second term is the buoyant force. Now what exactly is buoyant force? Buoyant force is nothing but the force exerted by the water onto a body when submerged partially or fully in it. Let's take an example of ship itself. When the ship is let down in the water, the weight of the ship is going to act downwards, pushing the water down. Right? And the water is going to react to that force pushing the ship upwards. So that upthrust is nothing but the buoyant force acting on the ship. Another great and simple example would be, have you ever tried to put an empty sealed bottle into a bucket of water? What happens? The bottle, as soon as you push the bottle down into the water, the bottle tries to rush up. That rush up is nothing but the buoyant force acting on that empty bottle. So. Now that you have understood these two basic terms, let's see how they play an important role in the ship's stability. So before moving on further, we need to understand the orientation of a ship, right? So to resemble a ship, I have this bottle with me and we are going to resemble it with a ship, okay? So let's see, this is known as the length of the ship right here. This is known as the beam of the ship and this is known as the height of the ship, okay? So we are going to study transverse stability. That means we are going to study this aspect of the ship. Okay. So if you were to cut this ship in different, different sections, you will get this particular cross section. So we are going to study the stability across this cross section. So if you were to study the stability across the length of the ship, then it would be known as longitudinal stability of the ship. And if you were to study the stability across the beam of the ship, then it would be known as transverse stability. So we are going to study the transverse stability. Now there are three conditions of equilibrium. Number one, stable equilibrium. Number two, unstable equilibrium. Number three, neutral equilibrium. We are going to take a look at each one of them briefly. For that, let's move on to the screen. Don't worry, I'm going to keep it as short as possible. My main goal over here is a common person who is trying to search for this concept should understand it very easily. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the concept. Now, let me just give you an orientation of what is there on the screen to make you familiar with it. Okay. So this blue line right here is nothing but the water line. It represents the water line. This rectangular shape is nothing but the ship and this right here is its axis. On the axis, you can see two points, point G and point B. Point G is nothing but the center of gravity and point B is nothing but the center of buoyancy. Now you might be asking, hey Alex, how would you find center of buoyancy? It is very easy to locate center of buoyancy. Volume that is submerged under the water, it is the centroid of that volume. Now, as this is a two dimensional plane, we will be taking the area, right? So to find out the center of the area and as the shape that is submerged under the water is almost a rectangle. You could just draw two diagonals right here. So approximately you would be getting the center of buoyancy over here. 
so i hope this is clear okay so now let me just tell you that the weight of the ship is acting at center of gravity and the buoyant force is acting at center of buoyancy so these two forces are in harmony with each other and that maintains the stability of the ship now how would you know that this ship right here is stable so there comes the meta center the concept of meta center meta center is going to tell you whether the ship is stable or not now how would you know that the ship is stable and what exactly is meta center let's have a look at it so let's say there's a wave and it hits your ship on the port side and causing the ship to tilt on its starboard side right here now a quick note this tilt word in terms of ship structure or ship stability we call it differently so what exactly is tilt called it is called as the list or heel now you might be saying why two terms list or heel now list is when the tilting of the ship occurs due to the internal factors and when you say heeling it is due to the external factors for example say rough weather so the wave comes and hits the ship and causes it to heel about its axis i hope this is clear now coming back to the topic this meta center how would you define meta center meta center is nothing but the center of buoyancy cutting through the ship's axis and that is how the meta center comes into the picture now let's say this blue big blue arrow over here it represents a big wave coming and hitting the ship on the port side causing the ship to heel about its starboard side now what happens is the weight of the ship that is the center of gravity it is not going to change it is not going to change because we are not removing any kind of weight or adding any kind of weight to the ship right the weight here is stable but the center of buoyancy is of course going to change why because as i told you that it is the centroid of the volume that is submerged under the water right and when the ship is heeled about its axis as we can clearly see that the volume of the water has increased over here causing the center of buoyancy to shift from point b to point b1 now the buoyant force is going to act at the center of buoyancy am i right right so if you were to extend the line of buoyant force and let it cut through the ship's axis then you would get the meta center and this meta center represents whether the ship is stable or not right so now what exactly it does see the weight of the ship is going to act downwards right and the buoyant force is going to act upwards so this in turn forms a couple and a couple in an opposite direction to that of the wave which is hitting the ship on the port side right this causes the ship to come back to its original position and that is called a stable equilibrium condition now this couple is also known as restoring couple why because obviously it's going to bring the ship back to its original position so this is the dance that is happening between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy in a stable ship right now let's take a look at what exactly happens in an unstable ship I hope you have understood the stable equilibrium part. If there is any doubt, just comment down below, and I would try to answer most of it. Okay. Okay. Now moving on to the second condition that is unstable equilibrium. So let's take a look at it. Now again, blue line right here, water line. This is the ship. Now I'm not going to orient this again. We all know what exactly it is by now. Okay. So over here we can clearly see that. this is the point g center of gravity as you can clearly see the center of gravity is kind of at the top okay uh, center of buoyancy is still the same of course the area under the water sorry the volume under the water is uh, still the same over here so it is not going to change now watch what happens when a wave comes and hits the ship same scenario but an unstable ship port and starboard so this blue arrow right here represents the wave and as the wave has hit the ship on the port side look what happens the ship is heeled towards the starboard side of course uh, causing the center of buoyancy to shift from point b to point b1 but over here look what happens is due to the center of gravity being at the top the weight of the ship is going to act at the center of gravity in a downward direction right and the buoyant force is going to act at the center of buoyancy in an upward direction so this in turn look at the motion it's going to 
form a couple but not in a restoring fashion it's going to capsize the ship capsize is nothing but the sinking of a ship so this couple is only going to accelerate the motion of the wave this will in turn capsize the ship so this is known as an unstable condition so as we can clearly see over here we have a negative gm now how we know that it is a negative gm in stable ship the g was below m and therefore we call it a positive gm because it is giving us that restoring couple and in this case the g is above the m which is a negative gm and the couple that is forming over here is nothing but accelerating the moment of the wave or external factors this is nothing but an unstable equilibrium condition okay now the final and the third condition is the neutral equilibrium condition what exactly happens in a neutral equilibrium let's move on to the screen so this is the first condition where the center of buoyancy over is over here and the center of gravity is over here imagine an external force acting on the port side of the ship causing the ship to heel towards its starboard side right now as we all know that the center of buoyancy is now going to shift and it is going to be at b1 now the buoyant force is going to act at center of buoyancy and it's going to cut through the ship's vertical axis now there will be a point where the buoyant force cuts through the center of gravity and this gives us the meta center and the center of gravity coincides together when this happens the ship the weight of the ship is going to act at the center of gravity as we all know and the buoyant force is acting at center of buoyancy so when this particular happens condition happens these these two forces cancel each other out and the ship is going to remain at this particular position to sum it up whenever the center of gravity and the meta center coincides together neutral equilibrium condition happens the ship will remain at this condition unless and uh, until and unless any external force is going to bring it back to its original position this is what a neutral equilibrium condition is i really hope you have understood all the three conditions of the ship now as promised let's move on to the demonstration using the simple pen uh, i am going to prove all these three conditions using the simple pen so let's go a quick note about the center of gravity if you add any external weight the center of gravity is going to shift towards the weight and if you remove any external weight the center of gravity is going to move away from the external weight so this is a simple a basic level concept about center of gravity if you add weight then the center of gravity is going to move towards the weight and if you remove the weight the center of going to, uh, gravity is going to move away from the weight now the first condition that i am going to demonstrate is the stable equilibrium condition now try to recall what exactly happens in stable equilibrium the points as well the points that is center of gravity is below the meta center the point where i'm holding the pen is the meta center and the center of gravity is below the meta center if there is an external force acting on the ship what will happen is it will bring the ship back to its original position watch so this is my external force or wave so look at this even if the wave is acting on the side it is going to come back to its original position because the g is below the meta center the second condition is the unstable condition now in unstable condition what exactly happens is try to recall that the, the center of gravity is above the meta center so the center of gravity is above the meta center now this is an unstable condition watch what happens if any external force disturbs it so this is my external force it's going to sink it's going to capsize watch again okay from this side oh wow. this is the unstable condition where an external where a slight external force can cause a capsizing action now in neutral equilibrium what exactly happens is the center of gravity and the meta center merges together or coincides together now basically what happens is if any external force is given the ship is going to remain in that particular position unless an external force brings it back right so this is a neutral equilibrium condition where the center of gravity and the meta center coincides together no matter what the ship is going to stay in that position unless and until an external aid is provided to bring the ship back to its original position this is nothing but the neutral equilibrium condition 
okay so guys this is the end of this video i really hope that you understood these three concepts about stability and you could try it on your own the practical demonstration that could clear out your concepts and if you really understood something from this video give it a like and uh, share it with your friends so that they can also understand this concept in a better way and uh, that's it thank you see you in the next one take care bye